Well, hello. So, uh, today I am going to be working on a personal painting. I have a spot over my stairs that is in need of something cool. And I figured I might as well paint something for it. And so I went to the thrift store and I found this little gem. First thing I had to do was clean up my art space because it was kind of a disaster <laughs> for my last painting. So yeah, here is the painting that was on here. And I believe that it is on board. It's just kind of like one of those prints that they kind of just stick on a board. So um, it feels like it would be a pain in the butt to get it out. So I think I'm just gonna paint over it inside of the frame. I got the frame for five bucks. So not too bad of a deal, I think. So my plan for this piece is probably going to be a ocean scene. Um, I live in Oregon right now and one of my favorite beaches that my family likes to visit is Neskowin Beach. And so anyway, there's a rock there. It's called Proposal Rock and I think I'm going to paint that in this picture frame. So how about you follow along with me? Why, hello. It's been a minute since I was on here, a couple of days since I painted over this thrifted art piece. And I think I'm going to get started working on the composition of this beach scene that I want to do. So follow along with me. So here is a picture that I found of Nesquin Beach. This right here is Proposal Rock. So I think that's what I'm going to kind of base this painting on is kind of a photograph of this. I'm planning on putting in a couple of sills and switching it up a little bit. It's not going to look exactly like this and my style is not super realistic either. So, but uh, we will see. We will see what happens. <laughs> One of my kiddos just had come back from school while I was recording this and we chatted about her day. Okay, so I have it all blocked in. I kind of went over it when it was still wet with a paper towel. And if you can kind of see like this kind of smudged effect that I got on there, that's kind of what I'm going for with like clouds and such. So I'm just waiting it for further to dry and then we'll get going on more details. All right, so I went in and added some seals and they are busy drying. And I've been over working on the clouds. I've just kind of been going over like this and kind of getting that kind of rough texture that I tend to like while I wait for these sills to dry. I'm not the most patient person. <laughs> I like staying busy and um, working on other parts while I wait for other parts. So uh, I think that's why I like acrylics so much and why I like gouache and oil pastel is because oil pastel doesn't need to dry. <laughs> and then um, gouache and acrylic, I mean, gouache and acrylic are a lot quicker than oil, obviously. And that's why I love colored pencil too, just because it's so quick. I think I finished the top part. I put in the little houses. I worked on Proposal Rock. Now I'm going to get started on these cute little sills. 
getting a little late, but I think I'm going to do one more thing for today, and I think I'm going to uh, do the trees on Proposal Rock. Um, there's kind of, I don't know if you can see it, sorry, I have my light behind me and it's dark outside, so the light isn't the best, but you can see those trees right in there. Um, I think that's what I'm going to work on. And I think I'm going to do that in colored pencil. So, so far on this painting, I've used acrylic, I've used oil pastel. Now I think I'm going to go in and get going with that. And I might, I might block in, I have an idea of putting some houses right in here. There are houses, beach houses kind of around that area in Neskowin, so I might block in some houses. We'll see how far I get. Kind of being just loose in how I draw this. I'm not trying to make a hyper realistic painting here. And I have jade and moss and a Prismacolor French Gray. I think I'll kind of mix both of those in here. Kind of give it some more interest, I think. Good morning! Day three on the painting. Hanging out with my puppy dog. Eh? This is Clover. And yeah, there's my painting. I kind of tweaked it a little. Let me switch over the camera. Here it is. Currently I'm working on the sills and I've blocked in like some rocks, some starfish, and yeah, I think we're getting close to being done. I'm gonna be working on this area. So, yeah, watch me do this part. We'll see how it goes. Okay, there we go. I think we've, we've got a better view of it. Let's go. All right, well, I 
think that it is done. I loved how my little sills turned out. This is a mix of pastel and colored pencil and acrylic. And my puppy is whining at me. Huh, why are you whining? What's wrong, Chloe? What's wrong? I think that she wants to go on a walk. We've got to pick up my kids soon from school. <laughs> it's okay. All right, well, there we go. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna be hanging it up and I'll show you where it's going to live in my house. stairway it is a beautiful day outside in December I'm right across from my laundry room here so this is where it's going to live is this little spot right here just right over the stairs I love it I love how it turned out well, that's it for this video. I hope that you had fun following me on that painting, on a thrifted painting journey. I don't know if I would necessarily do it again, probably with like a different uh, type of material to paint on, just because with that board, um, it wasn't super forgiving. And I do need to go and seal it because I'm afraid how long it's gonna last. But <laughs> other than that, it was really fun. And I'm sure that at some point I will be painting on a thrifted thing again. So anyway, like and subscribe.